Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In last video, we have successfully installed and set up VS Code, Platform IO, and ESP ADF. So in this video, we are going to cover GPIO Edge Output Mode and GPIO Edge Input Mode. So there are two ways to start GPIO programming with ESP ADF framework. Either you can go with example given in ESP IDF official GitHub repository or you can go through ESP IDF programming guide documentation. Uh, both links are there in description box so later you can go and explore. Better first watch this video, may this video will sufficient for you. So let's start the video. First open VS Code. Now open platform IO. Create new project. You can use any browser and search ESP IDF programming guide. Okay, click on this. Select your ESP board and ESP IDF version. Now click on API reference. Now from peripheral API, click on GPIO and RTC GPIO. Now here you can see first we have to add the GPIO.h header file for GPIO peripheral functions ok now we will add this header file in our project ok go to this file uh, in this file you can see lot of uh, GPIO related functions are there ok so but uh, our first task is to use GPIO as output mode so we can configure GPA in two ways here, uh, first by structure and second by function method. So it's your choice, you can use any one of these two. Uh, but uh, I am comfortable with function, so I will proceed with function. So to set GPIO as input or output, we have to call GPIO set direction function. So in this function you need to pass two arguments first GPIO pin number and second GPIO mode and both arguments you can find in GPIO text.h header file so let's configure a GPIO as output so to configure I am using a GPIO pin number 4 you can use your own pin number whatever you want to use Okay, now I configured a pin as output. Now it's time to write digital value on this pin. So to write digital value, we have to use GPIO set level function. Okay, in this function also we need to pass two arguments: first GPIO pin number and second digital value. Okay. So in program I am uh, I am passing first one and after one second zero in this function. So here uh, to create delay I am using vtouch delay function. So for this function also we need to add uh, two header files. So please don't worry about these uh, files right now. Later I will explain. Now make hardware ready. Connect LED with your GPIO. 
now compile and upload program to sp32 board now you can see led is blinking every one second like this you can configure other gpus also as output mode and can control anything like uh, buzzer relay bjt and so on okay uh, now we will configure a gpu as input mode so for this same function we will call and just we change the mode as input mode okay so for this i am going to take uh, gpu pin number 5 you can choose your own uh, for uh, input uh, pin configuration some pad configuration uh, is also available like pull up pull down and floating so you can choose according to your circuit diagram okay how you are going to connect your uh, digital input with your uh, input pin uh, but according to my circuit diagram you can see when i will press button then 3.3 volt will go to the input pin and in normal condition 14 value will go there because i am not using uh, or uh, i am not giving any pull up or pull down voltage to input pin okay so to prevent uh, from floating velo uh, i am going to enable pull down pad configuration okay so for this uh, we have to call uh, gpio pull up enable function and in this function we have to pass gpio pin number uh, you can use uh, other function also there that is uh, gpio set pull mode uh, in this uh, you have to pass two argument first gpio pin number and second uh, pull up mode uh, so not pull up mode pull mode like uh, pull up pull down or floating okay so now i enabled uh, pull up for this pin sorry now i enabled uh, pull down pad configuration for this pin now it's time to read input pin so to read pin we have to use gpio get level function okay in this function we have to pass uh, gpio number okay and uh, if input level is zero or low then this function will return zero and if input level is high or uh, one then this will return one so you can see in while loop every one second i am reading this pin and uh, when this function will return one then i am turning on this led and if this function will return zero then i am turning off this led okay. now make your hardware ready and compile and flash the program in the same way you can configure other gpio as input and can read uh, any digital input Okay, so in this video, uh, I'll just explain the polling method to read GPU. In next video, I will explain GPU interrupt. So, if you got anything from this video, please like this video and share with your friend, so that other people also can get something from this. Thank you so much for watching my video.